Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anna520, and welcome back to Super Metroid. In the last episode, we defeated Kraid and claimed the Varia suit a little earlier than we were supposed to. We then came to Norfair and claimed the High Jump Boots and the Speed Booster, as well as the Wave Beam, also a little earlier than we were supposed to. In this episode, we're going to figure out what these items can do for us. So, starting right off the bat, we need to not go this way. We need to go down. Uh, if I sound a little annoyed, it's because I just had a failed recording. But I guess that's what I get for trying to sequence break. As somebody who's not entirely... The most knowledgeable about this game will say that. I do not want to go this way. I want to go up. It should take significantly less time, now that I know what I'm doing, relatively speaking. We need to go this way. Why do we need to go this way? Well, we need a speed booster through this room. Go out through this save room. And climb to the top of the initial shaft where we came in to Norfair. Open this door. And speed booster through this room. Now, if we were coming to the, through this room earlier, we would have run into this shutter. This shutter would have blocked our way forward because we weren't fast enough. Unless we were to, we were to whoa, we were to mock ball uh, through the room, which is not something that you know what I'm just gonna get rid of you, so you are not in my way. We're also going to try and come up here, get rid of those guys, and come through here. This is not the way you're supposed to do things, because you're supposed to come from the top down. Anyway, Ice Beam. Two and a half minutes in, we've already got our first power-up of the day. Get rid of these Novas, I think they're called. We're going to climb to the top of this room. And come through here. This room is supposed to be like a tutorial for how the ice beam works. I screwed it up already. Nope. Oh. Okay. And then freeze this guy. Roll through. We can also freeze a ripper twos. And exit out this way. And we'll fall down through all these blocks. You can also get out through this. That guy. And roll across the top here, and out the bottom. But now that we have the ice beam, the high jump boots, and I guess the wave beam. We're not supposed to have the wave beam yet. We are now able to get up and out of Red Tower. Red Tower being this room where we fell down initially. On the other side of this section that seems to lead to Meridia. Like this. You. These guys may seem indestructible, but you can kill them with a single super. These. And this room. Uh, when I initially played this game, uh, there was an instruction in the walkthrough that if you happen to find yourself coming back through this room before you get Gravity Suit, the best way to go about this is to turn off your high jump boots so you don't hit the ceiling. Anyway, come up through here. Freeze these rippers. Jump up, up. Jump up out of here. Up. Up. And all the way up here. To the top of the red tower. Where there are more rippers flying around. We freeze them as well. We'll be able to get up. 
Whoa! That didn't happen before. Get up and out of this top right here. The speedrunners do all kinds of crazy stuff like wall jump up the side, shoot out the top block, and then wall jump up the side again. Getting through that little gap just in the nick of time. These flowers in the ceiling and floor are known as Samus Eaters. They're basically like Venus flytraps mixed with a Rafal. Whatever the name of that flower is, the one that smells like rotting meat and attracts flies for pollination. There's also these things. These things, I don't remember the name of them are, will be on screen. But they eventually pupate into key hunters, kai hunters, whatever. And there's also these blobs. These blobs are annoying. They take like 15 super stick destroy or something stupid. But anyway, coming in here, we get our first power bomb tank. And using one in this room will blow out the wall behind the Chosa statue and net us another missile tank. Useful. So now that we've got power bombs, super missiles, and regular missiles, along with the ice beam and the Varia suit, there's an entire area of Norfair that we can now explore. But there's also a lot of stuff that we can now go back and get. So we might find ourselves doing a little bit of cleanup here. I'm gonna blow open this door here. Um, also, something to note. There is a drop chart for certain enemies. Certain enemies do not drop certain items. Also, this room with the giant side hoppers. These things are tanks. One, two, three, four. Regular missiles. So you come through this room. And you'll notice there are three... No, there are three flowers in the floor. One of them does not have one of these grabbers in it. If we lay a power bomb, we'll destroy the entire floor. And if we fall through this flower, we'll get another power bomb. Very useful. Gonna freeze you. Land in the spikes because why the heck not? Touch the ceiling spikes because I hate myself. And now we're gonna climb back up and out and take this elevator up. Where does this elevator take us? This elevator will take us back to Criteria. Open this door. Blow open this door because not having power bombs when you need to open a door is awful. Power bomb back. We'll find ourselves here. There's a key hunter there. Run through here. And I'm going to just keep running right now, past my ship, come over here, and do a diagonal shine spark up here. Now, I may not have touched on this in the last episode, but using shine spark in this game actually spends your energy. It uses your health as power to, um, use the shine spark. Also this acid. This acid is extremely damaging. And I'll show you here in a second as soon as I get rid of these dragons and come over here and grab another power bomb tank. We now have more power bombs than we have super missiles. To show you how damaging this acid is, Look how fast I drained my health. Ouch. The spikes also really hurt. But anyway, I don't think there's anything else up here that we need to deal with. So I'm going to try to jump down onto my ship. 
close enough. Recharge my health and energy because we are going to do... I was not supposed to save. Oh well. Hopefully I keep this recording. We are about to do something crazy. And one of the things we need to do is jump off that wall. Or not. Okay. So up on this wall. This big flat wall. Not halfway up. We can blow open a hole in the wall. Excuse me. Let me up. Let me up. There we go. Bomb all the way through this. And find ourselves up here. This door leads to an area referred to as the Gauntlet. The Gauntlet is a very long pathway. And at the very end, there's several power-ups that we can grab. However, it, uh, it can troll you at the end. If you're not careful, get out of my way. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Get out of the... The acid really likes me today. Alright, let's get through here. This is... an energy tank. Utilizing a shine spark, I believe you can dart your way all the way through the uh, the entirety of the gaunt the first half of the gauntlet because the second half of the gauntlet is through this little tunnel and I need to wait for the acid to go away jump up here and now begins the second half of this terrible tunnel don't hit the spikes the spikes do a lot of damage I'll say I don't know how much exactly but I don't really have any intention of finding out. Please let me up. There's a waiver in here. I think I killed him. Jump, jump. Need to lay a power bomb to get through these spikes. There's an enemy right here in this hole. And now we've come to the end of the gauntlet. Or have we? Because. In this section, I need to land perfectly to break both the columns of these crumble blocks. If I try to step forward, you can see where one of them is. So I have to land, like, right here. Perfect. Because I need to pick up both of these missile packs on either side. And the only way to unlock these missile packs is to hit the platform from the top and ride it all the way down. If you get it perfect, you can grab both of them without having to go through the gauntlet twice. And that's the ideal situation. I am, however, not going to do what I did before. Instead, I'm going to wait until I get the item that allows me to access it normally. Do I want to be going this way? Possibly. We're gonna head back into Green Brin Star. Also, these guys are still impervious to our weaponry. We basically have all the weapons in the game right now. Missiles, supers, powers. We can pretty much get anywhere. Outside of maybe a few areas? I don't think screwjack blocks are a thing in this game. Unless they are, and I'm misremembering. Anyway, I shut off your fire. We went to the left. We need to go to the right. Because we have the speed booster now. Jump up up here and run past all of these shutters. Break open this door, and inside, 
we've got a reserve tank. But you might notice that tube on the bottom. Roll through the tube, and a missile tank. But also, another missile tank. Three items. How about we make it four? I think, I think we can make it four. Also, to get past, you just come up here, shoot all this out. I think there's a super missile tank up here. Whoops, side hoppers. Side hoppers. Flavor. Yep. Super missile tank. So there are five items in this small area. Missile tank, a super missile tank, two, uh, two more missile tanks, and a reserve tank. Nice. So where else we can we go? Well, we can go back to the pink room. I think we can also come through here. I want that missile. But this is a little bit of a trap, because you fall down here and come through here. Oops. Get off me. Here we all these guys. Get our these the, those little grasshopper enemies are really good for um, dealing with. Or those little grasshopper guys drop a lot of power bombs. Anyway, come to this area. Scoot, 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 scoot. And there's an energy tank there. Let's jump over this. Grab the energy tank. Let's open this door. And grab a super missile tank. Because... If we come back through here, and just walk... Oops! You've fallen down here. And there's a bit of a troll of a save room right here. Because if you save here and can't get back out, well, guess what? Mm-hmm. You're a little trapped. Get off me. Through here. No. Stop jumping over my missiles. There we go. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. And come through here. And here we will meet our friends. These, I believe, are the Etacoons. The Etacoons exist for one purpose. To teach us how to wall jump. Also, there's nothing through there. That's just a quick exit if you can't master the, uh, the wall jumps correctly. And they'll jump down, but one of them will roll into that hole in the wall. I have to try to do one of these. What the heck? Why did I come out of ball form? Come on. Come in. There we go. This little guy will show us a power bomb tank here. Hiding. I think that brings us to 20 power bombs. Now I just need to wall jump back up. You don't have to have an opposing wall to wall jump, as you've probably noticed. You can wall jump off of a single wall. Up out of here. Power bomb this. Grab that missile. And now let's go this way. We're back in the pink room. Rio. Another Rio. So this big long hallway, let's uh, let's speed booster through here. Whoops. Hmm. Down the long shaft. 
And down here we'll meet another friend. The Decora. The Decora exists for one purpose. To show us how to shine spark. Also down here you'll find an energy recharge to make sure you have enough energy to do the full shine spark out the top. You also notice the decor has an egg. We will be meeting the Eticoons and Decora again at a later time. But for now, let us simply move on. Now there is this yellow door here from before. Excuse me. Let's, uh, let's open this up. In here are a bunch of large side hoppers. Let's kill them all and open this door. If you do not open this door after you've killed all the uh, side hoppers, you will have to kill all the side hoppers again to get the door open. Anyway, we can use our wave beam here to open this shutter and come over here. Open this door, and grab an energy tank. That brings us to six, which would be the normal max energy in Metroid 1. Now, we're not playing Metroid 1, are we? Also, in case you have a hard time getting out of here, there's a nice little shutter right here. That will lift you up to this. Because you're normally supposed to use that block right there. I might just end up killing these guys anyway. To get up there. We'll figure out what those blocks are for eventually. In fact, uh, you know what? I'm not going to do this other thing because I think I need the, the item for this next room. So we're going to ignore that for now, and we're going to head into this area, this green area. But rather than go down, we're going to go up. And we're going to lay a power bomb here, open this yellow door, and find ourselves in familiar territory. And I don't mean with the side hoppers, because the heck with the side hoppers. Stop! Open the door. I did not mean that. Well, we've got another power bomb tank here. And play a power bomb here. And suddenly we're back at the morph ball. You'll notice the camera's gone now. And because we have the high jump, we can now get that energy tank from earlier. Let's head over and grab that. This area is now full of enemies. So in randomizers, sometimes you can find the morph ball up there. How are you supposed to get that if the morph ball is up there? Well, that Rio is there in the randomizer. So you could use the Rio's knockback to slam you into the energy tank. That's seven. But, if we come here, we can actually destroy all these blocks. Why would we want to do that? Well, that black spot in the middle there... Yeah, you can jump up that. In fact, I kind of need to do that. Shoot up here. Open this door. And... Find yourselves in this room. Now, if you come in here without the uh, the high jump boots, I think you end up getting soft locked because you can't jump high enough to get out of the water, which is really annoying. Anyway, I need to like jump here and come up here on this invisible walkway. How would you know that's there? We'll get to that. But anyway, we'll come in here to what is known as the Billy Maze Room. Why is this called the Billy Maze Room? Well, there's a missile here. But wait. There's more. 
I don't know why they chose this room to be the Billy Mays room when there's other rooms that have very uh, a lot more power-ups in them, such as that one that had like was it a reserve tank and then a missile tank and then another missile tank behind it. it seemed like there were a lot more items in that room. It would make more sense to call that room the Billy Mays room, but then again, I'm not a speedrunner, so I don't know. Get out through this way. Get don't like that Rio. Jump over here. Don't see too many gamers in this game. Whereas they were kind of a staple enemy in Metroid 1. Anyway, let's head back up the shaft to Old Torian. Or what is known as Old Torian. It's really just a section of Criteria. And these guys are really easy now. Through here, duck under that. I probably should pick up that health. Now then, under Mother Brain. There is actually a passageway. What's down here? A missile tank. Strange that this is down here, though. Like, hidden beneath Mother Brain. I suppose there was one in Zero Mission. But that game came after, so the one in Zero Mission is probably a homage to this one. Anyway, coming up here... Stop here at this spot where there happens to be a small platform. Bomb open the wall here and you roll in, and there's a power bomb door. Now, this is actually capable of being done with a short charge. But the actual. Really? The actual way you're supposed to do this is to freeze these guys as you come across and then shine spark straight up this and grab us some super missiles and then we can roll out oh right this well because we don't have the item That allows us to uh, utilize those things. We can just tank the damage. 30 damage a pop on those spikes. And then roll out the top here. Drop down that, and go up. So what else we got up here? Anything that I haven't done? Well, there's that area over there, but yeah, I'm not doing that again. So, probably should make four... Oh, fair again. Surprisingly enough. I believe that is where we are destined to go next. A return to Norfair. Starting to run out of time, though. Run through here. Near him. Uh, this door needs a super. Get rid of this key hunter. Shoot to the floor here. These crabs are some of the toughest enemies in this game. These crabs do 60 damage with the Varia suit. It's ridiculous. Now imagine not having the Varia suit and encountering them. That's a ludicrous amount of damage. Because I think the Varia suit cuts the damage by, like, a half. Or even, like, it's like 0.75 damage. Anyway, we fall down here. Make our way back to... Red Tower. 
And I fell in a Samus Eater. Get me out of this thing. <laughs> We're running out of time. Where's the save room? Where is the save room? Well, there's one there, but there's probably one at the top of Norfair. We'll use that one. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. We got this. Wait, is wait, is this the one that I'm thinking of? This is the one I'm thinking of. We can't do this. Wait, then what was in that other one? Also, there's one of those things that always seem to drop a power bomb. Fall down here. There's a health thing there. I don't care about your stupid fall. Screes. That scree dropped a power bomb. Come through here. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Super missile. Nice. No. Run through this. You know what? I know where this is here, right? So, we're going to break this early. Using a power bomb here causes this glass to shatter and flood this entire area. But we can come down here. One, two, three, four, five. And use this flooded save room. So next time on Super Metroid, we will return to Norfair and see where our items can take us. This is Xana520, signing out.